friends. I'm Miss Sarah, and this is the next Sharpsburg story stream. Whether you're a friend who normally comes to the library for story time, or someone who's just finding us via our online content, I know we're going to have fun together today. Since I don't know which of my friends at home are watching, our hello song will not include anyone's name. It's to the same tune of if you're happy and you know it. For the first verse, let's clap our hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. Let's stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Let's wave our arms. If you want to read a book, wave your arms. If you want to read a book, wave your arms. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, wave your arms. Let's find our chair. If you want to read a book, find your chair. If you want to read a book, find your chair. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, find your chair. All right, I hope everyone's doing well. Our story today is a retelling of a fairy tale. What do you think a retelling is? Do you have a guess? Let's think about the word. What if I'm telling a story? Right, I'm saying, I'm recounting that story. And if I put the sound re, before that, what else can you think of that has that sound? Repeat, exactly, or remix. So a retelling is sort of like repeating the story that you've heard before, but you're remixing it with new elements. So today's story is a retelling of the fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood. Our story today is called Federico and the Wolf. It is pictures by Rebecca Jane Gomez and pictures by Elisa Chivari. It's read with permission of Houghton Mifflin. Looking at the cover of the book, what do you notice is different about this retelling of Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah, you're right, Little Red Riding Hood is a boy in this version. His name is Federico. What else do you notice? He has a bike. You're right. His basket's on top of the bike. Oh, and his hood is part of a hoodie. Yeah, it's not a cloak or a cape. So do you think this takes place a long time ago or now-ish? Maybe now-ish, because look, he has sneakers on his feet too. Let's read the book and see if we can find any other differences between this version and the original story, Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a modern time, a boy named Federico left to buy ingredients to make the perfect pico. Cuidado, careful, called his mama as he pedaled toward the shops. Mind abuelo's grocery list, don't make other stops. Past the buildings, cars, and cabs, young Federico scurried until he reached the marketplace where people browsed unhurried. He filled the basket on his bike with romas, herbs, and limes, jalapenos, onions, and a pack of Anaheims. He added garlic, pickles, bread, and other market goods, then pedaled through the city park and deep into the woods. A fallen branch had blocked the path, so Rico stopped his ride. With steady force, he pushed and budged the barrier aside. Hola, called Un Lobo, catching Rico unaware. I see you've packed a hefty lunch. You got some grub to spare? So, who's talking to Federico? What kind of animal is that? 
A wolf? So that must be what Un Lobo is, a wolf. Do you think the Rico should trust him? Should he give him some food? No? What should Rico do? He bike far away, back the way he came, go another way home. That's a good idea. Let's see what Rico does. Sorry, Lobo, Rico said. I must be on my way. I have to be at Grandpa's shop by 12 o'clock today. Rico grabbed his bike and left the wolf behind. Little did he know the wolf had other plans in mind. Hmm. What do you think the wolf is going to do? Maybe chase Rico? Wolves are pretty fast. You might be able to keep up with him on his bike. Let's turn the page and see. La Tienda, the store was deserted. Rico listened, not a sound. The sign said closed. And what were those? Some paw prints on the ground? Federico peeked inside, alarmed by what he saw. A figure waved him over with a large and furry paw. Is that Federico's granddad? His abuelo? No? Who, who could it be? You think that's the wolf? Well, I guess there are paw prints on the ground. Let's keep reading. Abuelo? Whispered Federico, pulling off his hood. Yes, it's me, but I can't see. Uh, come closer, if you would. I, I think you need a shave. Your beard has grown so thick. You think so? Said El Lobo. Steady grooming does the trick. Your arms have gotten grande. Oh, my new workout made me strong. New dentures too? Asked Federico. They help me chew because they're sharp and long. Said El Lobo. By now, the wolf was drooling. All this chatter is getting old. I'm hungry, bub. I need some grub before I pass out cold. Okay, said Rico. Let me see. I brought your favorite treats. Whole grain bread, a cabbage head, a jar of pickled beets. El Lobo's nose began to twitch. Mi niño, here's the deal. Set those yucky things aside and I'll make you my meal. Oh no! The wolf's going to eat Rico! Can he come up with a plan? He bounded from La Silla with a grunching, growling shout, but Rico tossed some chili powder straight into his snout. Good thinking, Rico! The wolf inhaled, he sniffed, he snuffled, he itched and twitched and wheezed. He tried to wipe his drippy nose, but oh, 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 sneezed. Frederico ducked and dashed and rummaged through his sack. Not so fast, you tasty tyke. I haven't had my snack. But Rico quickly plotted when the wolf's mouth opened wide. He grabbed an habanero and he jammed it deep inside. What's going to happen? What kind of pepper is a habanero? It's a spicy pepper, you say? Oh, I don't think the wolf will like that. A lobo gulped. He gagged and got... <coughs> His oho turned bright red. Steam was puffing out his ears. I need to duck my head. He hurtled through La Puerta with a shrieking, gasping scream and dashed as fast as he could go toward the distant stream. Ayuda, cried Abuelo from inside a bolted box. Rico found him safe and snug in just his shorts and socks. Gracias. He scrambled out with shouts of pride and joy. I thought that wolf would do us in, but you prevailed, my boy. Is Rico's granddad happy to see him? 
Why do you think so? Yeah, he hugs him. He says, thank you. He says that Rico prevailed. He overcame the wolf. They cleaned the mess and Gramps got dressed, then shared a bit of lunch. How about we make a sauce that packs a special punch? They chopped and diced, used lots of spice, and simmered sauce all night, then bottled their concoction, Wolfsbane salsa, with extra bite. The end. At the back of the book, there is also a recipe for pico, which is a type of salsa. So if you would like to make your own pico, just like Rico and his grandpa, you can get the following ingredients. Half a small onion, chopped. One small jalapeno pepper, seeded and finely chopped. Four Roma tomatoes, diced. One garlic clove, minced. A pinch of salt. One teaspoon of lime or lemon juice. And two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro. Mix all the ingredients in a medium-sized bowl. Chill for 15 to 30 minutes before a serving and enjoy as a taco topping or with your favorite tortilla chips. On the other back page, there's an explanation of all the Spanish vocabulary in case you don't know what some of these words mean. That was a great retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. I thought Rico was really clever to use the spices against the wolf. If you want to check out some other retellings of fairy tales inspired by other Latin American cultures, I have four recommendations for you today. One Bobo Goes to Work by Marissa Montes. The Cazuela That the Farm Maiden Stirred by Samantha R. Vamos. La Princesa and the Pea by Susan Middleton Elia. And Martina the Beautiful Cockroach by Carmen Agra Didi. These retellings and more are available at your local library. Check out librarycatalog.einetwork.net or call your local library to borrow these and other titles. That's about all the time we have for this week. Are you ready for the goodbye song? It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up, ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you have that I'll be here when the week is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you will have things you want to talk about i will too i'll see you next week friends stay safe and healthy